Uh, Skyrise does not feel confident about beating this team. I'm not entirely sure why Skyrise isn't pick Blazekin. And I wasn't keeping track of his other two Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, Bacano plays one of the most unorthodox Dark Cries I've ever seen. Like, I get the vibe he plays a lot like it breaks in. But, like, an unorthodox breaks in. See, this this is what I'm expecting, is like traps and far distance and stuff like that. But then he does stuff like this and gets up close. But the thing about Picano is he does not have fear like I do as Dark Cry. Like, he'll just hit counter and just counter tons things and grab up close like that. And see, when I get up close, everyone knows I'm gonna grab. When Picano gets up close, you don't really know what he's gonna do because he'll push just anything that he wants to push. And uh, his strategies are working out because because he has a huge life lead. He just needs one hit. <laughs> this guy is not like his position right now. Uh, Picano does not like hitting anti apparently. That's gonna get grabbed. Yep. Electrode on, uh, I guess, Whiff is what you might call it, is free grab. Reaction. Virtually anybody, I think. Alright, uh, Picano might want to show a little bit of fear. Okay, <laughs> Sky Raisin hung on to 1 HP for like half of that battle. Ch like a true Blaziken. <laughs> How much does he even get back, I wonder? Alright, I don't. Yeah, I... Picano's got a huge hill to climb, because he just lost his owner and Skyrim is still his champ. And he brings out his semi-zoner. Breaks and... His pocket breaks and is actually his only breaks and... He, he's technically a breaks and main. He was in the uh, Wii U. Rapping pigeon. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing, but Skyrim is complaining over there. Uh, Mikado probably could take this. Yep, okay. Ooh, perfect! Yo, I did an entire 55 damage or whatever that was earlier. Alright, so he's sitting in okay shape because this is his main and now it's 2-2 two, two still left. Alright, Skyrim is not taking his main out yet. I'm gonna use the Lucario. But like I was saying earlier, his Lucario is actually good. Don't don't. Okay, it's not a free grab from that far away, but it's very risky. Fix it as like the fastest counter in the game, not really, but it sure feels like it. This guy's gonna bring out tokens because Lucario, of course, needs to be faster than he already is. Alright, uh, Pagano's doing a pretty good job zoning him out up until all his carries and goes up and around and around and around. Which is too powerful in field phase, depending on the zone you have. Okay, now we got double burst on deck, and Skyrise pushes a button which Kana will catch with his YOLO burst. I'm not sure he like read anything or if he just really wanted to be used first. But it worked either way. That hurt uh, substantially compared to what I was expecting. Alright, okay, kinda might have jumped this. Yes, he did! He goes open around it. And now Skyrise is back to normal Lucario. He might actually take. Oh, I'm not gonna curse anything. He's in good shape to take this round, let's put it that way. And uh, he's doing just a fantabulous job of running the heck away from Skyrise. He's having a hard time getting in as his secondary ish Pokemon. But you know, he, he has his Machamp, who brings us nightmares every week, and this week might not be any different. I think Bacano did a smart thing now that I think about it, saving like his just meh-ish main that he hasn't been working on for last. But um, because now he can get a good lead with Breaks in and then just finish, ideally of course, finish Skyrim off with his last Pokemon if he has to. Skyrim is making great use of these karate chops and gets stuck in the fire spin that he belly flopped into. Bacano is going to take the tail end of that counter and mash the champ back in the field. And then back into duel with the side beam, which is like the bane of Darkrai's existence. I hate that one. Champ's trying super hard to get in. Skyrim is like one of the most patient guys in the champ out there. But he's he's closing the gap, but that grab does not work. Wonder if it wasn't a grab. 
Okay, so that air homing was interesting because it totally went backwards. But Kyle's going to use his burst attack because, let's face it, Gregson's burst is really, really, really good. And it will save him from dying for just a little bit longer. The champ is going to use his burst, but see, now he's stuck without burst in the next round. Whatever difference that's going to be. Uh, I don't think the can going get hit. No, he goes around and around, and I don't know how, but... <laughs> this guy is it's not a happy player, but he takes this round anyway with Machamp um, combos. Mm, I wonder who Picano has. A Pikachu Libre! <laughs> Alright, so Picano has 182 HP to finish off with this deadly monster in front of him. Uh, he does not duck Machamp's counter, so I don't think he caught. Alright, that hit, of course, counter pierces as you have so seen there. Duck is going to stall a little bit, but uh, will not do any damage. That uh, counter attack was silly. It took him in one direction and brought him around. But Kano has burst now and will get him out of the situation that could have ended the entire match, but now he's okay. And that's not gonna work. But now he's out of the court. Okay, that was a terrible decision! <laughs> And that's, that, is, that has to be game. There's no way Picado's going to lose this. Good job to both players. <laughs> They're just giggling over there. Alright. Uh, yeah. So we're trying to get Smash players, but they're too good at Smash. So they're just like kicking butt in bracket.